Hey friend, let me show you how I doubled my indie app sales. I have three apps in the app store now, but one of them drives most of the revenue. This app is training program to train to hold your breath longer. It may sound strange, but if you do free diving or other water sports, this can be a very valuable skill. I like to spend part of my vacations under the water, that's why I developed this app. Anyways, back to money. Last year I did a few changes in onboarding flow and that helped to bump monthly sales from about 400 to 1000. 1000 per month is nice money for side project but I was thinking about how to increase that more. There are few different ways to do that. You can surely try to get more users to use your app by doing marketing and ranking better in the app store. I will leave that for later. Now I decided to try to increase the rate from free to paid users. A few years ago I will try to add more features to convince free users to use the paid version but after a few years of indie development I know it is not working. Cutting features from free version could do the trick, but I don't like to do that and I prefer to keep my app uh, useful for free users as well. I don't need those one star reviews, right? <laughs> so I shall try to improve the paywall to make it more attractive, right? My goal was to increase real sales and I had two theories to test. First one, I think that my initial purchase screen was kind of messy. The current paywall includes the three different purchase offers, monthly, yearly and one-time uh, purchase. I prefer to sell this yearly subscription, which is the best option for the users and includes free trial as well. A one-time purchase is here for a few users who just hate subscriptions and want to buy once and forgot. And yeah, and currently we have the classic three price offer with the best offer in the middle. You can see this pricing strategy everywhere and it is pretty popular but uh, all tactic to sell product. I decided to simplify the main screen and offer just one product. That one product I really like to sell a yearly subscription. I already have a screen with just one product on it and I'm using it for discount offers and this screen works well in the onboarding flow and that helped uh, last year to get the up to the 1000 in the monthly sales. So that's kind of tested already theory. So the second thing that I wanted to try was reducing the fear of starting the trial. I already saw that some users start the trial and cancel it immediately. In this case the user will still have access to the premium features until the end of the trial period but a uh, user will be not charged automatically so most likely they are doing that just to don't forget to cancel the trial. So to reduce the fear of starting a free trial I decided to add a reminder at the end of this trial. Message or copy on the sales screen is a bit different as well. The call to action is to start a 7 day free trial today and then you will be reminded to cancel it if you don't like it. So what was the result? <laughs> Trials after the changes in the payment screen skyrocketed. The current low week is the previous high in my chart. So new trials have doubled and my experiment is successful. But what about the sales? So maybe all of them are cancelling, right? Without notifying users, there definitely will be at least few who just forget to cancel the subscription. But I'm not sure it is good for the product to keep around those customers who just paid because they forgot to cancel their, their subscriptions. So... I don't mind to remind them to cancel the subscription. And for my product, for my app, this is working very well. I push it up over 2k in monthly sales. I'm not yet on my goal for this year, 3k in sales, but I'm moving closer. So now I can focus again on features and general app updates to keep users using the app and do not cancel the subscription at the end of the year. Also, I could focus on marketing to get more downloads by improving App Store search results, ranking in App Search results, and um, also I could do some marketing outside App Store to send traffic to it and in this way generate more downloads and increase sales. So let me know <laughs> which way should I go, what you would be interested to follow, and if you would like to see a video about that as well. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you on next one. Bye bye.